So now let's talk about how to color your character if you have Toon Boom Harmony Advanced or Premium. So you can still use the method as shown before just using one layer, but now you have the option of using your art layers, which if you don't see all four of these, you can go to Preferences, Advanced, and you want to make sure that this top one is selected that says Support, Overlay, and Underlay Art. So make sure that's on, and you should see all four of these art layers. They may be over here. I drag them down here just because I like to be able to see them pretty easily. And uh, I like to customize my uh, layout a lot. It helps me to animate faster. You can always drag these around, all of these windows, to the way that you like them to be laid out. So that just helps me keep track of what layer I'm on. So there's four of them. There's overlay art, line art, color art, and underlay art. So the way I use these typically is I'll use the underlay art for my rough sketch animation layer. And then once I'm done doing that, I'll go on to my line art layer and do my cleanup. And then we'll do the step that I'm going to show you here to do my coloring. So here's one method for coloring using your art layers. Once our character is all cleaned up with our black arrow tool selected, we want to press this button over here, which creates color art from line art. So if I click that, it looks like nothing happened, right? But if I go into my color art layer, we'll now see that there's these invisible strokes, these blue lines. If I were to go into my drawing view, what the drawing view does is it isolates these color art layers. So let's do that. So here I'm in my drawing window and you may notice that my background is a different color. Usually this is white by default, but I like to pick sort of a neutral color just in case I need to fill in my character with white. So to change that, it's under our preferences, under general, and edit colors. Then at the top, go to drawing and change background. I usually pick a pretty neutral color like this dark turquoise or you could do like a gray or a beige color, or just leave it white. I prefer having it at this sort of color. If I go into my drawing view, I'll only see the color art layer, which is just these blue invisible strokes. If you wanted to see all four of your art layers at the same time, you could click this eyeball here, and you'll see your ink layer on top, even though you're not on the ink layer. If the eyeball's off, I can click on my line art layer, see my line art. But here we can get a sense of what the invisible strokes are doing. It takes your line art layer and creates invisible strokes so you can color on this layer. And that way it kind of separates your cleanup from your coloring. It just makes production a lot easier. So again, I'm going to go to Paint Unpainted. You could also just use regular paint since uh, there's no ink to worry about on here. And I'll just fill in the whole thing like so. And again, in sections like this, where we want the gap to be closed off, we could also use our Close Gap tool. So what that does is instead of following just a line on its own, what the close gap tool tries to do is connect one point to another. So if I were to draw it from this line to this line, it'll connect a point. I can also try and connect it a little bit higher up, like that. And then we can go through and fill in. I know these are the highlights, these are his ears, and now we can go through and just color in our character. If you want, you can go back to the camera view, and that way you can see all four layers at the same time, see how it looks inside the animation itself. And usually I'll just go through and fill in one color at a time, production line style. And again, we want to make sure to delete any of these spots that are supposed to be transparent. And there we have our character all colored in using our color art layers.